Uh, Ralph, you've been writing about this uh, this morning. You have some more detail on the Garda investigation. Yeah, Shane. Um, essentially, the, the, the investigation is escalating to quite a significant degree. You had two postmortems conducted yesterday at Cork University Hospital on the bodies of Tig, the 59-year-old father of two, and Dermot, his youngest son, who was 23 years old. Uh, this third postmortem will take place at CUH today, and that will be on the body of Mark O'Sullivan. And Gardy believe that this, this postmortem will be particularly significant because it's understood that the father and the youngest son uh, died from single gunshot wounds but they want to know whether there was possibly more than one gunshot used or received or suffered in respect of Mark. Now, Mark's body was found in the bedroom of the farmhouse. The other two bodies were recovered about 600 metres away from that property. Uh, b- beside the two bodies that were found uh, were two rifles and a total of three firearms are currently being examined by ballistic experts in Dublin. You have two rifles and a shotgun. Forensic experts also conducted um, an exhaustive examination of the two scenes yesterday, and Gardy basically said that they're very, they're they're very um, happy with how the investigation is proceeding. They've already said they're not looking for anyone else in connection with this, but they're quite hopeful that the results of the forensic tests, the ballistic tests, and the post-mortem examinations will help somehow explain to them the sequence of um, how this tragedy unfolded. It would seem, and you're, again, you're writing this this morning, that the triple tragedy may have been sparked by a bitter dispute over a family will. Yeah, very much so. Um, I think Gardy were very much um, aware of that in the immediate hours after the triple tragedy. And I know documentation has been found and examined within the property itself, which does indicate that there was a dispute over uh, the inheritance of this 140-acre, 150-acre farm. And, and that unfortunately seems to have been the spark that led to this appalling event. Now, um, as you know, there were four people actually in the property on Monday morning, um, Anne, who would be Tig's wife, and the mother of um, both Mark and Dermot. And uh, that, that poor woman, I mean, it, it, it words simply wouldn't explain what she's going through at the moment. Now, she's being comforted by relatives and friends in the area, and she has been visited by members of the local clergy to try and offer their support and solidarity, and certainly within the community. I mean, the community was absolutely shocked by the sheer scale of this tragedy. And everyone locally, from you know community groups to the GA, they're doing everything they possibly can to support each other and no also doubt. to try and support Anne and her family.